Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alexis. And my name is Marianne. And today we're going to have lots of fun reading and listening in the playroom. Our theme today is Picnic in the Park. Watch the cookie. Written and illustrated by Nancy Cote. Sam and Mousy were best friends. When Sam reads books, Mousy read too. When Sam took a bath, Mousy did too. When Sam went to sleep, Mousy slept close, so close that Sam couldn't barely move. One morning, the wind was blowing hard. Let's go to the park. Fly my kite, said Sam. I'll wait at home, said Mousy, who had never flown a kite. Please, begged Sam. Mousy couldn't say no. Hold on tight, Sam called as the kite went up and up. Mousy held on tight. Okay, guys, who are Sam and Mousy? They're best friends. Yes, that's right. And where do you think they are now? At a park? Yes, very good, Rochelle. Okay, let's continue. I know now you Now we can add one sticker. <laughs> now we can add two stickers to the group chop. Let's continue. Said Sam when they sat down to rest. Sam rich, reached into the pocket. Surprise! He shouted. It was a great big chocolate chip cookie wrapped in a red paper napkin. Mousy jumped up and down, but then Sam began to wiggle. He crossed his leg, he stood, he rocked back and forth. Sam couldn't wait, he had to go, and he had to go now. Watch the cookie, I'll be right back. He told Mousy, Mousy gulped. He wasn't the only one watching the cookie. Okay, Eliana, what do you think Sam asked Mousy to do? To watch the kite. Not quite. Sam asked Mousy to watch the cookie for him, but great try. We'll still add one sticker to the group chart. Let's continue. Two pigeons flew down and began to peck at the crispy brown edge. Mousy jumped up and down. The pigeon pecked. Mousy ran in circles, but the pigeons kept pecking. Mousy spotted the napkin. He had a super idea. Stop! That Sam's cookie, Mousy said with determination. The pigeons flew away, knocking the cookie to the ground. An army of ants picked up the cookie and marched. Mousy stomped his feet. The ants marched. Mousy waved his arms, but the ants kept marching. Mousy cleared his throat. He leaped to the ground. Stop! Okay, guys. What, what do you think Mousy would try to do next? Take care of the cookie. Yes, he will try and bring the cookie back. Well done, Eliana. Let's put one more sticker onto the sticker chart. Stop! That's Sam's cookie, he demanded. The ants dropped the cookie. The cookie rolled down the hill, around the pond, under a stroller, over a shoe, through the can, crash against the trash bin. 
I smell something good to eat, said a voice. Mousie looked up. A hungry cat was peering down at him. Mousie grabbed the cookie. He held it tight. That's Sam cookie, he squeaked. Silly mouse. Cats don't eat cookies. Cats eat mice. Mousy wasn't strong like a cat. He wasn't as big as a cat, but he had something the cat didn't have. Oh no! A hungry cat is looking at Mousy. What do you think cats like to eat? Cookies or mice? Mice. Very good, Eliana. That's one more sticker chart to add. That's one more sticker to add to the chart. Let's continue. The cat opened his mouth wide. With super strength, Mousy hurled the cookie into the cat's mouth. That's Sam's cookie! He roared. The cat dropped Mousy and ran away. Sam saw the whole thing. You are. Very brave, he told Mousy. I guess I am, said the little mouse. Let's go home and make another cookie, said Sam. No, let's have a peanut butter sandwich instead, said Mousy. Whatever you like, answered Sam. That night, when Mousy read a book, Sam reads too. When the mousy took a shower, Sam did too. And when mousy went to bed, Sam slept close, so close that mousy couldn't barely move. That's just what best friends do. The end. Great job, guys! You all did so well listening to the story. That'll be all for today, and we hope to see you all next time at the playroom. Have a lovely week. Bye.